Or they could just modify an arm or something rather than every electronics and sensors and cameras. There's a lot of things. Is there any actually I had a good laugh. I'll carry they learn everything. Yeah, I know. So the stronger students can do that. Yeah, you can do that. So where do you work? They're running late up there. So they can't put it up. Did you leave it up? Is there other questions up there? Yeah, the other posters are already like, oh, so, yeah, I, I, I just the task, you know, I can't, the posters are right on the front of the stage here, so, so do you know what time they're going to post? My guess is going to be 330 or 340 is when they're going to start postering, uh, so my guess is that we're going to have 320, all of a sudden, yeah, 325. You want to give me the poster? Yeah, okay, it's, it's right next to the camera. That's it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, they probably want to be in the fire. Nobody's 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 Special. Yeah. No, there was a time. So we're doing various I need to have the <laughs> 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 Alright, I think everybody's back, so let's start the hands-on softer session. Alright. So, uh, I guess everybody has a robot, that's the biggest thing. So everybody here, do you have access to a robot? Is there a robot near you? Um, Bryce, do you want to take uh, the folks behind you? Yeah. All right, cool. So step on up. Um, I guess Dr. Lee mentioned uh, the approach that we had for applying our open source framework uh, to the Darwin OT. Uh, the idea with our framework is that we want to be able to uh, run a locomotion and vision program on a range of humanoids. And since the Darwin OP is open platform, our open source software is going to match it pretty well. Uh, the first thing that uh, we want to do is actually start making this guy move. Everybody likes, uh, you know, a little hands-on thing. So, you guys are still all in the VNC session. Is that true? No. No. Okay. I don't know. Sorry. Um, so, can everybody uh, reconnect to your uh, VNC session, and then uh, just let me know when you're done. Um, so, I guess uh, our system is pretty similar uh, to the Robata <coughs> system. We have a process that we'll you know, continuously pull the microcontroller um, and keep that data into a shared memory um, area in the file system. And we run some higher level scripting on that data. Good? All right, how about the corner? SJ, how are we doing on the back row? Everybody. Yeah, are we good on yours? Yeah, All right. Bryce and company, we good over there? I already did your first step. Already did your first step. <laughs> you, got, you got the terminal up? You're going to need to revert back. Yeah, I'm All right. All right, so we're all good? Raise your hand. Good, good, good. Okay. So open one of the terminals. Um, you guys all know how to do that. That's the little black icon. Um, and uh, change directories into uh, Penn's open source uh, folder. So if you have a command right up here, let me know if you can see. Can you guys all read the screen? Is this OK for typing? Um, so just cd into the desktop, open source, and player. 
and then we're going to start what's called a screen session. So uh, what screen does is it allows you to run things in the background, and even if you're not, not connected to the robot, that process is still going to be running. And it's an easy way to reconnect into that process and uh, see some of the debugging messages. So this is a really good uh, debugging program. So let me know uh, when you guys have executed the Lua run DCM. Uh, give me a little nod or a wave or something like that when we're all good. I'll uh, mimic what you guys have. We good over here? SJ, how are we doing on the back row? Done? Are we all seeing some numbers spitting out on the screen? All right. So once you have that process up, um, if you could just start, you know, move, move some of Darwin's joints around. Um, specifically, uh, take the head, um, move it from left to right. I'm going to see how some of the joints react. So there's a line in there that's called head. And there'll be a set of two numbers next to it, right? So the head twisted around, just on one axis. Let me know if you can see the numbers change. You guys can see the numbers change. All right, now just move the head up and down. Great. See the joint angles? Cool. All right. Uh, shake the hand. See the uh, right arm move. Get a little, little handshake. Yeah. There we go. All right. Is the uh, right arm or left arm, whichever one you're, uh, you know, shaking, is that moving around? Guys, right. okay, you guys can see that. All right. And here's just a screenshot. I'm guessing you guys can all see something like this on the screen. All right. Good. Um. So the numbers change. All right, um, so with that, we all know how it uh, reacts. We did that um, in the previous session. Uh, let's see if we can detach from the screen process. So remember, screen is uh, good for keeping stuff in the background. Cool. Go back one slide. Um, which fiber? All right. Does everybody understand what this uh, DCM process is? So this, this magical process. We all good. Raise your hand if you have a question of what, what that does, and I'll explain more. Uh, the basic idea is that um, this is how uh, pen software communicates with uh, the different sensors and actuators on the Darwin. Are we okay? All good over here. Back row. Good. And uh, front row. All right. Awesome. So, uh, as I mentioned before, we're going to try to detach, is what it's called. So let this program still run in the background. Okay, it's reading and writing to a shared memory block. So press Control A, followed by Control D. Okay. We all good? Well, not. Yep. Hey, I like this corner. Thumbs up. All right. So, before you execute anything. Make sure the Darwin OP is kneeling. So, uh, for example, you have one of these robots. We're all good. Make it in a kneeling position. Uh, this is just for stability because Darwin's going to stand up. And, uh, this is how we keep it. We don't have it sitting down. All right. So now execute that uh, Lewid demo. Here, uh, let me just want to check that you guys are uh, exactly where I think you are. Um, so do we just see a play, or we can do, you guys were here, right? And then you hit Control A, hit D. Okay, we're all good. So now you just see a terminal, a terminal prompt, is that correct? Okay, so now type in just Lua space, and then uh, demo.lua, uh, just as it is right here. Everybody can see that? Okay, now, um, when you hit Enter, just make sure that uh, your Darwin isn't going to even think about moving towards the floor. Okay, he's going to stay right on the table. Is that right? So as you hit enter, it's going to start standing up. We good? A wave? Just a little wave. Um, walk around. Hey, we got a perfect example in the back row. It'll wave again. Just sit down. Yep, supposed to walk. Supposed to walk. Yeah. We call that marching in place. It's all one over here. Do you have a source code for all the code? Yep. How many lines? Uh, sure, let's, okay. let's go into the demo program if you want. Uh, so, uh, we're going to execute a, a less command. I don't want anybody you know, uh, deleting anything if you can. So, type in, does everybody see that? 
less on demo.load. Uh, so if you want to see the actual source code that's going on, right? so hit enter. Um, so there's a lot of junk going on. Okay. Um, you can ignore most of the top matter. What we're doing here is just uh, being able to talk with all the different tool files that are in our uh, various platforms. And we'll go through these one by one. Um, but we go through here. Uh, we make sure, all these requirement statements make sure that we can talk with the body. Uh, we can talk with the motion machine and the walk engine. Right, so you saw it you know, marching in place, that's what uh, the require on wall um, We load some various keyframes. So if you notice that we have both the wave that load and the wave two, right? So you saw two waves. It waved once and it waved uh, a second. So we had two different keyframes for that. Um, that's what happened there. Um, and then we go along. Um, we're going to have what's called a state machine. We'll get into this later, but if everybody wants to take a look at the code right now. Um, we have a little update. So this, um, I guess, uh, almost like a switch statement if else block. Um, it's just going to see uh, which phase uh, we are in the little demo programs, right? So you saw it stand up, it's like the first phase, wave, second stage, walk, third, etc. Okay. So um, I don't want to belabor this uh, particular program right now, um, but it incorporates everything that we will be talking about in our open source platform. So to get out of this program, just hit Q. Okay. So we're back to a terminal. Is everybody back to a terminal? Awesome. So, we're going to get back over here. You good? I think we broke it. Yeah, we kind of broke it. Broke it. Well, you yeah. could not have. <laughs> you could not have. Oh, 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 yeah, that's fine. So, yeah. All right. Yep, exactly. <coughs> All right. 
Um, yeah, just type yeah, it right like, just get it. Try not to start like, You don't have to do the yeah, data, the, the comments, you don't have to type. So just B is equal to zero, or you're changing the quote. Double dash, double dash, this means comment. Yeah, position. Oh, I want to see some start and not or shaking their legs. That's all that I see here. That's impossible. First person, I get movement wins. Very good. Okay. Alright, we gotta hit him. Cool. Um, uh, so I recommend using increments of 0.1. I really don't recommend just trying arbitrary numbers. So it's radiance. You're moving in radiance here, so you're probably Moving down. All right. So now, um, right before you hit, it, so so before um, before you do this, uh, set hardness zero. See if you can feel the stiffness of the head. Okay. Just like touch it. Um, try to move it gently around. It doesn't move, right? It's really stiff, right? Does everybody see that? It's really stiff. Okay. So now, if you do this hardness zero command, okay. You all do that. You felt the head really stiff. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we got the demo program over here. You're catching up. Yeah. Alright. Anybody feel that? Feel this stiffness at zero? So feel a lot less. It's still a little stiff. It's still a little stiff. It's, a little stiff. it's not totally. But you can definitely move. So, all right, cool. Um, now what I want you guys to do is uh, play around with some of the other set commands. Um, I'm going to give you a hint. So your command like set L arm hardness. Um, and imagine you can extrapolate that to the different commands, okay? Um, the biggest thing that I want you guys to do is make the touchdown sign, okay? I want every Darwin to have a touchdown sign, okay? We want six points. What's the what's hardness? Um, Sure. You so, um, oh, the unit? one is the just here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't have the control of the what, what is the acceptable range for the command? Is all zero to one? Oh no, no. no. Uh, so yeah, it's just radiance. Radiance. Okay. Make it zero one. Yes. Yeah. Uh, radiance. Yes. Do it uh, by a few increments and see if you just get the back. Yeah, it was a yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's high, high. Yeah. 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 Um, so you oh, so I think we lost it. Yeah, so arm joints. I think we lost the action. What's the Okay, we got one. Three parameters. Try to do zero, zero, zero. 
Now you can move it. Like you've given it angles, now you can actually check the arm. Yeah, you can try to move it a little bit. Come here, yes, the ATMs. All right. Somebody's winning the first half. We got six points. Yeah. 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 All right, wow. All right, so a few folks who are uh, super duper over there. Um, so the control D, let's keep moving because I don't think they need these slides. Sound good? All right, well, I already did this. Um, all right, so now uh, do that little screen arc fan. You remember that? That was when you saw the little numbers. So I do that again and see if you see any familiar numbers within, say, the arm range. Not fine, not fine. Anyone familiar there? I'm going to look like an no, no, no. no, but it, these are your grades and those are ratings. Oh, you're right. Oh my gosh, I do feel, feel a little bit weird. But yeah, those are, uh, those are degrees. Good call, right? So don't do any degrees. Oh, don't do any uh, hard leg or... No, we're not. Oh, uh, it's just the oh, we're oh, moving into the see this position right here. SJ, can you get them into the... Sure. All right, so we got a touchdown in the back, or almost. Almost got a touchdown. Almost, the back row is almost there. Uh, Taylor's coming up with the boost, and these guys are in touchdown plan. Cool. Alright, we have it. Alright, we got a touchdown. We got a touchdown. Yeah. Oh, you got this movement as a left. Oh, do you have this device? Yeah. You said the minus on the head to room list, so it's still looking straightforward, so I was in the right position, so that's what you need to do. I realize that should be an issue, but uh, I'm going to roll with the punches here and see if I can stay up or not. So it's just not worth it. So, okay, so the yeah. Are at half. yeah, no, this is going to be my fault, but I want to see what happens because yeah. I don't remember if when we do the stand up and the other routines, if the hardness of the arms is set to zero. Okay. So we'll see. If it is, that can be fun. If not, I feel like that all day long. Um, anyway. I can look for such a thing. Um, all right. So for those of you who have scored a touchdown, okay, I want you to follow some of these directions. All right. Everybody, touchdown? Okay. Folks with a touchdown are taking pictures and stuff. Take your pictures, and then we're going to move on. Um, so I mentioned uh, before that we're going to do some keyframes, right? So you saw the little waves before. We're going to start making our own keyframes because um, that's half the battle. When you're doing a little RoboCop soccer, you want to be able to keyframe a kick a lot of times to make it the fastest possible. So go into the motion directory. I believe right now you're in lib. So execute a cd space dot dot slash motion as we have on PowerPoint. Um, and now we're going to open a file just to see what the structure of the keyframes are. It says it expects an equal sign. Do we need to get out of the LUA first? Oh, yes, yes, you do. Hit Control D to get out of Lua. So do Control D and you get out of Lua. All right, let me know when you're uh, looking at KMOP stand up for back. Um, you can just type in KMOP stand and then like hit tab and it should complete it to the rest of the way. Just type it. Whatever. Um, oh, wait, no, 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 no. 
Everybody's recording keyframes now? Yeah.
Listen to what the lady wants. Give me the macarena. Come on. Macarena. Nice. All right, we're gonna do that at uh, at the end. Okay. We're gonna have a macarena challenge. Okay. I like that. Um. All right. You get to hit enter at something. Are you the keyframe one? Hit enter. All right. Um, we're gonna move on. We're gonna assume that you guys have gotten it twice as fast. Is that true for everybody? Yeah. Well. Four, four times as fast? Oh my gosh. Ooh. I told her. Somebody's a rebel fire. back there. All right. Yeah, that's 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 All right, guys. Yeah, we're, we're not even going to try testing the safe operating on this. <laughs> we're going to start making this guy walk, okay? So, um, SJ, do you want to do something here? Or do you want to keep uh, the buggy? So, my idea is kind of. Alrighty, guys. Um, SJ is going to. The wall we put you through. The wall we put you through. Awesome. Uh, you stuck right here, right? We don't have to do it. I have an issue with them, and I drop the wall. So what we do is we provide a path to the wall, and we cover some of the motion state machine and the high rest of the wheel. So first we start with the wall. You should have the player folder and it's a grab and have a walk back to the So make sure the robot is very close to the position of the player. Yeah, okay, good. If it's online and everything, it's perfect. Yeah, yeah, I'll give it to you. Yeah, I'll give it to you. I can't shoot that. Yeah, I got that. So we're going to make a stance. The first thing that we want to do is make sure it's sitting properly. Um, and this guy's still slouching. Um, you got him right there? Uh, yeah. The robot can jump out of this can. Yeah, so make sure when you have this thing, like, and you press 8 to have it stand up. Eight. You have your hands with a little radius yeah. around there, just to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere it's not supposed to. Did you press 8? Did you do a Lewis test ball? Not listening. <laughs> Are you hitting uh, high? It's a good score. Hit high as well. Okay, that's good. All right, then hit K to make stuff. Yeah, now the room is working, then you can try as well to let the play. Press high, K. Yeah, guys, you got to really make sure. We're really, guys, we're on the table right now. This is really um, a dangerous position, so make sure that you are, you know, ready. Okay, at the ready. Turn, turn. Dharma's not going to bite, so you, you, can, you can handle it. So hit, hit K, hit K, hit 7 to sit down, K to just have it move in place, okay? So if it's doing something you don't want to do, hit K, and then hit 7. Okay. So test them all. Once you test them all, you have it sit down with 7. Control C to get out. Yep. Okay, so you Taylor, watch that bot. I didn't see it. Oh, okay, he was watching. You were watching. Yeah. Saw you. Well, okay. Good. Yeah. Add a little movement there, you know. I'm like a little false too. Alright. <laughs> okay, why are you playing with the ro robot? I come out of the radio with the robot. So there are two types of walking, the uh, stationary walking, the uh, set up, the gravity, or in fact, driving the supporting tool. And we provide dynamic walking where the set of gravity may lie outside of the supporting tool. Then we have to need uh, some kind of dynamic set of gravity, which is the GMP. I think every should be. I think you know about GMP, at least how about GMP. So, our algorithm for each of three steps, we have a step that put three three of the box speed and calculate by the GMP using GMP criteria, and you calculate the training area you must be in this. So, come one by one. So, we use three velocity parameters. The first one is VX, it's four velocity. The VY is the side by side velocity, the VA is the angular velocity. So we can control all three separately, so we can make the robot work omnidirectionally. So, this is the 
<laughs> what kind of parameters did you guys get? <laughs> Maybe step height is a draw. Hip sway? I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Like Still not the Macarena. <laughs> All right, so uh, now to the second comment block. So re comment that stuff that you want to comment. All right, JK sacrificed his expensive camera for an expensive oh. dollar. This is a uh, case in point of why we have our hands around. Thank Good you, job, guys. So hit seven when it's going out at its central level, so 2.5. Now it's down. Awesome. So does everybody know how to do the second line of the program? We saw two blocks of comments. So re-comment that block that you did the first time. You got it. Hey, Yeah, it's weird because we just name them the same thing. It's, it's really easy once you're yeah, 
So remember when we did test walk, we controlled it with seven and eight to make it stand up and sit down. Um, this time we're going to do it with a button press. So remember you get this halo hands there on there. So first we want to make sure it's going to stay on the Oh, top folder, I apologize. Top folder is just the, uh, the player. Yeah. Uh, all Why do always walking can make it How I just walking? What do we do for sure? I got to Press one of the buttons. I, I, and some of them, they're different, actually. Some of them are different. So maybe you can on Press the center one. Oh, oh, these buttons. Yeah, apologize. Sorry. On the back. Yeah, so press the center button on the back. Okay, guys? Let's see what happens. Oh, press the left button on the back. You guys are fine. So, yeah, press the yeah, center button. It is the center one. Okay, good. Yeah, the middle button should be the one for everybody. Okay. I think there, I think there is one for a button that uh, is just the left button instead. All right, then press it again and see what happens. Make sure. All right, so everybody gets how that state works. We'll go back up here. Okay. Can anybody see how it moves? So we have the relax. That's when it's sitting down. You press the button, right? It stands up. When it's done standing up, it walks. We do this When it gets the button again, it sits down. And then when it's done sitting down, it goes back. Rocket science, okay? Um, do we lay it down on the front, like the side side? Do that. Um, but make sure you really are protected. Okay, so place it face down on the table. Do we hit the center button first? Excuse me? No, no. Let it walk. It's like it tripped on a stick or something. Oh, okay. Stick doesn't like me. Yeah, future may be good to say how it's going to hold up. Yeah. All right, good. Now oh, watch the cables, because if, if the cables um, are taut on it, sometimes uh, things can go awry. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Um, uh, actually, you can just switch robots with them if it's not working or something. They get to reboot or whatever. Just take the cable off and just use the cable. Alright, uh, so everybody did that. Um, where are we on here? Alright, so we're all good. Um, so, this really wouldn't be a complete uh, slide until we actually have you guys at your own state. Okay? Uh, so, let's get the motion.lua file back up again. That G edit. Okay. Um, and now uh, we're going to add uh, add a different state, and it's going to be called the null state. But uh, the idea is that uh, when we uh, push the button, uh, we see that it goes uh, from relax uh, to stand, followed immediately by walk. Uh, what about just making it stand, not walk? Let's see here. I want to see if I'm doing the right thing. Anyway, let's follow this. So does everybody have a motion that little file up? No, we, we need to reconnect. Professionals? You guys have the, uh, it's, it's up, but not it's up. Okay. All right. So do we see at the top of the file there are a lot of these require statements? Is that true? Everybody sees a lot of require, require statements? Good. Thumbs up? Thumbs up. Okay, good. Um, so now we're going to add uh, a, a different requirement. Uh, we're going to uh, require null state, okay? So see if you guys add require null state, okay? Just do that like right under the red, all the other requires. Okay. SJ will come around to make sure you're doing it correctly. Um, then go down to where there are transitions. So I think there's SM colon set transition. Um, and change the transition uh, for stance. So when it's when stance is done, have it go to the null state. Okay. And then uh, then we're gonna add another transition. 
So, um, on button, the null state should transition uh, to relax. So, see if you guys can implement that. Oh, yeah, just read the slides. I think it's going to be a good place to save if you guys have pen and paper in front of you, it might be a good idea to just draw this out where it's going, just similar to the way it Do you call it out all of your states? And as a sense of here, guys, the next step that we're going to do is have the robot start following the ball and kick us. Yes, okay, so. First person get this done, uh, gets to do a the ball. Yeah, so uh, you see how there's little uh, transitions where they're both done and stuff. Yeah, we're going to do that for the world. It's right now, it says walk, we should change that. You should get null state. Oh, sorry. So that shouldn't have wrapped. Good and null state. One word, null state. Good and null state. Which file are we editing? Uh, motion, motion, that Motion. Motion. Okay, so G edit. Motion. Yeah, Bryce, you didn't do this one last night. Do one. I know, I'm terrified. 2.0. You guys still didn't take out the. Do we need to have like an ass tape? Yeah, we do. Do we need an ass tape for the most uh, issue? Yes. Sure. Yes. Oh, I forgot about that. Uh, you are also going to have to do an add state. Okay, so you see all the add states. Um, make sure to have an add state for null state. Okay? There are a bunch of little add state states. Oh. Base state, state, state. See, you catch my mistakes already. You guys are pretty uh, intuitive with this uh, platform. I like it. Yeah. Can we use RoboPlus motion editor? Excuse me. Can we use function editor? I'm not familiar with that. Yeah. They have pages. Are we going to have a page to go to page two? I'm going to have a page to go to page two. Similar concept. Is it similar concept? Cool. And, you, and so I guess that would be a good thing for you. Oh, that was bizarre. That's good. That's good. Oh, you want to learn. Our kid is doing squats. Okay, we um, hit the middle button and it's bring it down and right back up. Okay. Um, I was afraid of that. Okay, um, this is the appropriate behavior. Um, uh, there is a bug in stuff I have. So, if you guys have a little robot that does a little bend down, bend back up, that's appropriate. Okay. That's, that's my fault. I'll uh, change that to documentation. Um, what we're going to need is a timeout, so it should actually wait a little bit of time, because when you press the button, um, it still registers that button press. So it immediately transitions and then transitions again. So, um, I hope we do avoid that. But, uh, you mean it registers like two button presses at once or something? Yeah, it registers like two. Oh, wait, never mind, guys. It worked over here, so I'll. I'll uh, of course, you just gave me that. Huh? Just gave me that. I don't think so. By the way, I should check with them, so you'll learn. How are we doing?
So can you text me when you throw this machine? That is going to be part of your good. Are you drinking this? Uh, yeah. 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 Are you drinking this? Yeah. Can I? Yeah. Okay. So just go put it back to the stable. Um, guys, when you finish that, or um, want to move on to the kicking the ball, just undo everything you did just now and make it back to the state that it was, okay? So to make the actual transitions, um, unbutton, go to, uh, you know, undo what you did. Um, was it undone? You should go to walk instead of uh, null state, okay? That sound good? And you don't have to change the null states. But, uh, All right, so we have to go back. So just change everything back to the way it was originally. And let me know when you've done that. Okay. You're back to normal? Okay, what, we got one back to, back to normal. There, one of these questions walk. Are you guys doing it back in here? No, I don't remember what, what, I don't remember what this question is. Oh, you can ask me, yeah. Uh, what was the stance done line? What stance was done? What did that go to? Are we back to normal? Okay. Yep. Put this state machine back to where it was. Okay, you done part? You good? Perfect. And she has the back row doing it. They all uh, back to normal. Right, you back to normal? Okay. All right. So everybody's back to normal. Um, if not, we will find out shortly. Um, so, uh, we've got all these humanoid robots. Uh, the Darwin OP has a camera included. Um, so you can see that camera. It's right uh, square between the eyes. Okay, so you see a little lens there. Uh, that's the camera. Um, it actually is an HD camera, um, not just a regular VGA camera. And what we're going to do is show you how we interface with this camera um, and Penn's stock image processing library. You guys can use your own. Okay, because I know there are a lot of people who like to use their own image processing library. But we give you um, an idea of how you can make one. Um, so I mentioned before there's a USB webcam. Um, it communicates over what's called UVC. It's one of these standard uh, USB video drivers. Um, and since this runs Linux, the Ubuntu uh, operating system, we use the video for Linux 2 drivers. Um, so in theory, if you want to replace this camera with your own, so long as it works with this V4L2 API, you're going to be good. Um, we're sampling at 30 hertz right now, um, and for debugging, every one of these frames that Darwin OP sees is going to be um, stored in a, a shared memory file, okay? And why is this important? Uh, Lua doesn't really include a uh, visual GUI so that you can actually see what's going on, but there are a lot of third-party applications there. Um, we use MATLAB, so um, when we want to debug images and see how we're labeling things in the world, we open up MATLAB and we start and we, and we can see what's going on. But, um, we're not going to be distributing that one. So, um, let's test out some of the vision. I have some balls over here. I don't have enough for everybody, so we're going to have to have to share and move on. So, um, you guys will be a little bit later. Um, so, uh, run this uh, little bit test vision. So, you're used to all these test walks and everything. Big ball. Have a ball. And get a ball. So we turned on the lights here, everybody knows that, right? Um, I'm sure you're all familiar with uh, the lighting effects of vision processing. If you don't have the right lighting, things are in here. White balance. Let's see. Um, Taylor, that's very flat, right? Let's go. Um, okay, has everybody run the uh, test vision that little five? Can it kind of two block? No. Uh, it, it'll like, if one goes out of view or one blob becomes slightly bigger, it'll like start looking at the other one and it'll just like, whichever blob is bigger, it'll start looking. Oh, um, you have to press eight, guys. So have it stand up, okay? Just the way we've done this. Um, okay, that'll be fine. Totally okay. All right. So now press the press the I J. Eight is nothing. No, we broke. All right. We want to fix your state machine, you guys. I have SJ over there. SJ. Oh, um, wait, all right. Never mind. Um, so can everybody move the camera? Everybody had success moving the camera? Oh, hey, and then we have batteries here. Battery track. This is awesome. Um, did you all press 1? Can you see the uh, ball being tracked by Darwin OP moving his head around? Not well. 
well, put the ball on the ground, move it around. Yeah, so it, that's working well. Yeah. Um, cool. So everybody's having success right now. Thumbs up, thumbs up. If you don't have thumbs up, get SJ. Okay. What do you need to So, All right, so we're doing okay? All right. Um, so let's press 7. Set Darwin OP back down. Um, we see they can track the ball. Okay. These guys are having problems. I don't know if they're motors or not. Cool. So now, once we sat down, you control C, kill the process. I'm going to give a quick overview of this processing library, and then we're going to have it play soccer. Um, so, this uh, vision system is divided into two areas. Now. So, we have a pipeline, and we have, I guess, individual um, processing segments. Each one of these segments we want to be really fast. So, as was mentioned before, anything we want to be really fast is done in C. So, these files are stored in the open source lib image proc thing, so anytime we get made to compile everything, it's all the C files are compiled there. Um, everything in the pipeline, which is basically detect large blob, you know, uh, and figure out the centroid, all those different things, um, are going to be in Lua, and they're stored in the vision directory very perfectly. Um, in this, what we're doing is a very simple lookup table, so every color the Darwin OP sees is going to be matched with, uh, well, every pixel sees is going to be matched with a, a color. So we have like, say, four or five different colors. The main one that we're going to be interested in is orange. We do some blob detection. Um, and in order to reduce noise, we, we bump this down to four by four. All the four by four pixels are averaged out in a bit or process, so um, we have a little bit less processing to do. Uh, this is the segmentation that you'll see. Uh, the ball is spotted here in circle. It's a little orange uh, blob there. You see yellow because that's the transition. Um, now we're going to show you the main code here, okay? Um, the main code is divided into more of these fine state machines. So you guys were working with the uh, motion state machines, right? Um, there are two more. One is the uh, the head, and that does the tracking. So anytime you press one, it would uh, you know, start tracking. If it found the ball, it would just find it. If it, if it didn't uh, have the ball, it would go into a search state, okay? So it would just move the head around. Um, and similarly, when you're, when you're uh, playing soccer, you want to have a body FSM to tell your uh, robot where to go. And what it does is it searches an area, um, moving its head around, moving its body around until it finds the ball. Once it does find the ball, it goes towards uh, that centroid and then it goes and kicks it. Okay, so you saw um, some of the kick state machines before. Um, this is the main process. So if you actually open up, you know, less player.lewit, that's in the uh, player directory, you're going to see this. Okay? Um, and what it does is we just enter the motion finding state machine, that's when we were playing with before. The body finding state machine, that's where we're telling the body, the, the, the robot to move in certain directions, okay? Um, rather than just actually standing up and stuff. And vision entry, um, that's just updating every single frame. And we do that, you know, we do that update all the time. Um, here's a little pictorial uh, representation of what we got going on. Um, you know, nothing, you know, too, too much like rocket science going on here. And um, now we're going to test the main control code. Um, and here you're actually going to want to put your robots on the ground, okay, um, with the ball, uh, because it's going to scoot around, do some kicks. We don't want anybody uh, walking off the table, okay? So see if you can make some room, put the robot um, wherever you have some open space. All right. Make sure you don't lose power. That's paramount. If you lose the, yep, okay, your back row, that'll be fine. We'll, be, we'll get you back up. Just uh, restart the computer. The batteries are like this. Yeah. If we're doing that, we don't have a long term battery. It's better than the one parent, the third one. No, 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 no. We're just let it go. It's at the third one right now. It doesn't matter. All right, so is everybody on the ground? Um, we're rebooting the computer. Um, we're good. So, have the ball in the area. Uh, SJ, can you help out back corner? All right. So, we're going to run Lua. Player.load, okay, this is the like ultimate player. stage of this presentation. It's going to be sitting. You're going to press the middle button, have it stand up, and start playing some soccer. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. Is it uh, moving around? You see some grooving action over here? How's everybody doing? Um, again, it's still going to be important that, you know, if it actually, if, if, if the robot falls down here, it's going to be okay. It'll get yeah, up. Walk, walk, probably. You can yeah. see what it, how it gets up. Right? It should, you let it kind of fall down, and you'll see it, the state machine will take it. Okay. 
Oh, press the center button. Press the center button. Um, there, uh, some of the robots are different, but uh, press the center button. Um, are we having success in the back row there? Yeah. Some? Some success? Okay, good. Thumbs up. So you can see some of the troubles, trials, and tribulations of robot cup soccer. It falls down a lot. Especially with teams. Um, what director are we in again? So do you have the DCM run? No, we just don't. we just got reconnected into the DCM. Sure, so uh so when you so in order to get to the DCM to get that running, you go into the desktop, the source folder. 